In this video, I will show you how to create a double exposure effect in Affinity Photo. If you know a little bit about basic editing with Affinity Photo, then you can follow all my steps. Before we begin, if you want to get notified whenever I release a new Affinity Photo effect tutorial video, click the subscribe button and let's get started. First, select your image. Then take the selection brush tool and brush over the subject to make it separate from the background. Like this. I have many videos on how to remove background from an Affinity Photo. You can check those videos in great detail on this topic. After that, click the button above toggle quick mask to check your selection. If it seems fine, then click refine to clear up this selection of harsh edges. Now I need to extend this photo's background. So take a crop tool and extend it like this. I have a detailed video on how to extend the background in an affinity photo. You can check that video in great detail on this topic. Anyway, now go to adjustment. Basically make this image as black and white. Then select all layers and merge visible. As make it in one layer. I am now placing my second image to make a double exposure effect. Reduce the opacity. Check and adjust with the first photo. Now clip this image with the model image by dragging like this. Now add a mask and take a paintbrush tool. Make opacity and flow 100%. And hardness 0. Now gently brush on the image to reveal some parts like eyes, nose, and lip. Take the rectangle tool to make a background color. Now adding some vibrance on the color area. And that's it. If you found this video useful, remember to like it, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notification to receive updates on my brand new video. Thank you so much for your support. See you again.